Ever wondered how the sweet golden honey you spread on your toast is made? Picture this, a world buzzing with bees, a dance of nature unfolding in perfect harmony. The honeybee, a tiny architect of sweetness, embarks on a remarkable journey. From the heart of blossoming flowers to the intricate labyrinths of their hive, this journey is a tale of transformation, a testament to the marvels of nature. Curious about the origins of your beloved honey? Well, let's unveil the fascinating journey that turns flower nectar into honey. Our journey begins in the hive, the heart of a honeybee's life. The hive is a marvel of natural architecture, a complex of hexagonal cells built from beeswax. These cells have multiple roles. They store honey, serve as brood chambers for the young, and are the hub of all hive activities. The choice of habitat for these hives is no small matter. Bees are selective, choosing locations that offer protection, proximity to food sources, and the right environmental conditions. Once the hive is established, the foraging process begins. Bees embark on a quest for nectar, a sugary liquid produced by flowers. This is not a random selection. Bees are meticulous in their choice of flowers, and this selection directly impacts the color and flavor profile of the honey they produce. With nectar collected, it's time for the bees to return to their hive. But this is just the beginning of the honey-making process. Back at the hive, the real magic begins. The nectar, meticulously gathered by our industrious bees, is about to undergo a remarkable transformation. The worker bees, those tireless soldiers of the colony, take center stage in this process. Imagine a bee returning to the hive, its tiny body laden with nectar. It regurgitates the nectar into the waiting cells of the honeycomb, a process as delicate as it is vital. But the nectar at this stage is far from the sweet, sticky substance we know as honey. It's a complex cocktail of sugars, waiting to be simplified. The worker bees, in their infinite wisdom, have a solution for this. They possess enzymes in their saliva, a natural molecular machinery capable of breaking down these complex sugars into simpler, more digestible forms. It's a bit like nature's own sugar refinery, operating at a microscopic level within each bee. Now, the nectar is starting to resemble honey, but it's still too watery. To transform it further, the bees employ a technique as ingenious as it is efficient. They fan their wings rapidly over the nectar-filled cells, creating a gentle draft that speeds up the evaporation process. They're essentially tiny living fans, working tirelessly to reduce the water content of the nectar. So what's the end goal here? The bees aim to reduce the water content of the nectar to around 18%. When it reaches this point, it has the thick, syrupy consistency we associate with honey. But it's not just about consistency. Reducing the water content also makes the honey less susceptible to fermentation and spoilage, ensuring it can be stored safely for long periods. This is the beauty of the honey-making process. It's a finely tuned operation, driven by the collective effort of thousands of bees. Each bee plays a crucial role, contributing to the transformation of simple flower nectar into the rich golden honey we all know and love. Once the honey reaches the right consistency, it needs a safe place to be stored. But that's a story for another time. Remember the hexagonal cells in the hive? Here's where they come in handy. Wax, a fundamental building block of the hive, is created by worker bees. These bees have fascinating special glands on their abdomen that secrete wax. This wax, once exposed to air, hardens and forms the base for the bees' architectural masterpiece, the honeycomb. The honeycomb, with its iconic hexagonal cells, is much more than just a storage unit for honey. It's an ingeniously designed living space for bees. It provides a safe and nurturing environment for the development of larvae, ensuring the colony's growth and continuity. But how do these cells come to be filled with honey? Well, worker bees deposit the processed nectar into these cells. Once the honey reaches just the right consistency, the cells are capped with even more beeswax, effectively sealing the honey for storage. With the honey safely stored and sealed, the bees' job is almost done. But the honeybee's role extends far beyond making honey. At the heart of a buzzing hive is the queen bee. She reigns supreme, laying up to 2,000 eggs a day to ensure the colony's growth. The queen emits pheromones that guide the hive's behavior and maintain its social order. But it's the worker bees, those industrious females, who truly keep the hive humming, performing tasks from foraging to nectar processing and hive maintenance. 
And what about the lifespan of these diligent creatures? Well, worker bees live for several weeks during the active foraging season, their lives a testament to tireless labor. On the other hand, queen bees, blessed with longevity, can live for several years, ensuring the colony's continuity. But let's take a step back from the hive for a moment. Honeybees aren't just master honey producers, they're also nature's tiny but vital pollinators. As they flit from flower to flower, sipping nectar, they inadvertently transfer pollen, facilitating the reproduction of flowering plants. This pollination service is not just crucial for our food production, but also for the health of ecosystems, supporting biodiversity and habitats for countless other species. Now, let's delve into a different realm where honey holds a significant place, culture and religion. In Islam, honey is more than just a sweet treat. The Quran, in Surah An-Nal, acknowledges the therapeutic properties of honey, linking it with the divine wisdom in nature's bounty. Prophet Muhammad also extolled honey for its medicinal value, and it has been used in Islamic medicine and traditions for centuries. The environmental impact of bees is immeasurable. Their role in pollination aids in the growth of trees and flowers, which provide habitats for other wildlife, help to prevent soil erosion, and even combat climate change by absorbing carbon dioxide. However, these tireless workers face threats from habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change, endangering not just our honey supply, but the health of our ecosystems. So the next time you enjoy some honey, remember the intricate journey that brought it from a flower to your table. And let's not forget the crucial role these hardworking bees play in our ecosystem.